Right, good morning everybody. <clears throat> this is a video that some of you have been asking about for some time. We're going to take a look at timing the injection pump on a gardener engine. Now, I'm afraid we're outdoors today as you can see and there'll be the odd car coming past. There's nothing I can do about it. I'll try and edit the video as best I can. Now, as you know, all along I've been emphasising that the Gardner engine is a very simple piece of kit. It's not rocket science. It's little more than common sense really. But having said that, this is a subject that is not for the faint-hearted. Um, if we set up the timing on the engine wrong, uh, we can do a lot of harm. So we have to be very careful. It's divided into two phases. As you can imagine, the timing of the engine is taken all relative to the crankshaft. So phase one will be concerned with timing the valves here. Now again this is definitely not for the faint-hearted and this is not something that the everyday um, operator is going to get involved in. The only people who will be concerned with this will be people like ourselves rebuilding these engines. So, first of all, to time <coughs> the valves <coughs> on the engine, we first of all bring the engine up to number one. Now, how do we do this? We do this by rotating the flywheel. <coughs> <coughs> Is we must bring the engine so that number one cylinder, number one's at the very front here, is a top dead center. So we rotate the flywheel round until we find the marks. Now the marks are not very clear sometimes. You have to study, you have to use a wire brush to clean the surface. But you will find them, they are there. <coughs> you'll find a mark, this is a six cylinder engine, you'll find a mark which says 1 and 6 TDC. That's number one cylinder and number six cylinder are at the top of their stroke, <coughs> top dead center. Then I normally mark it with this white line as you can see here. Okay, so the problem is that number one can be a top dead center twice in any cycle. It can be a top dead center on the compression stroke and it can be top dead center on the exhaust stroke. It's really important that we concern ourselves with the compression stroke. Top dead center on compression, not exhaust. Okay, so we can come round now to the front of the engine. You'll see here that we have a number of gear wheels to concern ourselves with. We have the main gear wheel on the camshaft. We have the gear down here in the, on the, the crankshaft. And we have a gear here on the injection pump. Now, we have to line those up. So what we'll do now is we'll go and look at these parts whenever they're removed. I think you can see it more clear. Right, and we'll go next door here that's on the camshaft. So that's rotating like that, clockwise, when looked at from the front of the engine. If you look very closely, you'll see that there's two marks on it. I've just marked them there with white tipex. They're easy enough spotted. <coughs> and the first thing we have to do is, we have to make sure that they are in the right position. To do that, you get a if you look very carefully, you'll see that there's two timing marks on the crankcase. There's one here on the starboard side, and there's one here on this side. <coughs> so all we have to do now, get a rubber band or a piece of string. Rubber band's the best and pass it from one mark to the other. Those marks are always <coughs> opposite those particular studs. So you actually don't need to see the marks if you go between those two marks. Those two studs you can't get it wrong. Now, so now if you look you'll see that the two dots are in line. You'll see that the two dots are in line, that one and that one. See that mark in there, 
and not marking their RN line. We now know that the, the valve timing on the engine is spot on. Now another way that we can tell that she's on a top dead centre is tappets will be set here on number one. You'll see I can just rock this. So typically it's starting to rain here so I'm afraid we have to abandon this project for the time being but from what we've shot so far you should be able to see that the valves are now set up spot on. The valve timing is spot on relative to the crankshaft. We go on now to phase two is where we time the, inje the injection pump. Remember none of this the ordinary user should never be involved with this. The only people who are going to be involved in this in phase one anyway is somebody who's rebuilding the engine <coughs> or fitting a new crankshaft or something. Um, phase two you should only be involved in if you're changing the injection pump. So again as ever remember I'm not an expert and this is only my experience and what we see in day-to-day -day practice. So I hope you got something out of that and thanks a lot. We go on now to phase two. Thanks a lot.